evening everybody thank you very much for joining in this side rahul magan here as a chief executive officer of treasury consulting llp and this time we are shooting a very very important video about a topic which is bedford law but this time the scene is little different we are this time shooting using a software like if you notice that in our youtube channel we have uh, uploaded a lot of videos about uh, data analytics and all and variety of that but as you very well understand that Treasury Consulting LLP is all scheduled to launch its K-Commerce which is shortly known as Knowledge Commerce and in that regards we are launching variety of series pertaining to softwares so this time we are launching up a launching a video which covers uh, you know uh, Benford Law using a software this software is IDEA IDEA is nothing but a CAD tool CAD tool means Computer Aided Audit Technique like as you very well understand that chartered accountant fraternity, company secretary fraternity and cost accountant fraternity they all are involved in audit every second day they are, that is part of their life right but somehow or not it's all manual right so unfortunately a lot of tools and techniques are not getting used so these are, this is the tool which is known as IDEA, IDEA 8.5 this is a demo software and in which we are going to, we are going to show you how the Benford works how exactly the Benford works now if you look at our earlier videos we already told about that Benford is nothing but our, our, data, uh, our data analytic technique which helps you to predict that you know based upon the pattern of the data where the fault could be of course at the same time we are not suggesting that Benford is a full foolproof technique but one thing we need to understand that using Benford be able to mitigate uh, or be able to understand a lot of stuff one reason why we are using uh, software here is very simple that because uh, using software you would be able to do something which you may not be able to do in excel i'm not saying that excel do not have the capability for the same but at the same time if you do using excel then somehow or not you know um, you, it's going to be very complicated so it's very difficult for a person like me and also you to understand on the video because excel will get a lot of complicated but using software you can do so now before uh, just starting with Benford, I would like to uh, stress one few facts. Let me tell you that IDEA is nothing but a sampling software and Treasury Consulting LLP not suggesting to use IDEA alone. In fact, we always uh, suggest you to use a variety of other softwares which we are going to demonstrate uh, in this video. Just a little description of that. And uh, at the same time, we are going to suggest that if you as a company or as an individual doing any kind of data analytics work or a lot of data analytics involved then I think you should uh, preferably uh, you know try and use these three softwares which we are demonstrating to you. One thing which we wanted to tell you about IDEA is it's a sampling software. It's a general misconception. I'm not saying this is uh, wrong 100%. Yes, it is to an extent right uh, as well. But at the same time, if you're going to sync idea with two other softwares which is like uh, you have SPSS and Minitab then it makes a lot of sense. But one beautiful problem with the idea is that you cannot import the thing as easily as you have in SPSS and Minitab which we are going to demonstrate to you. But again a very like we said that uh, sometimes you have a, have a disadvantage sometimes you having an advantage as well. The advantage is that idea can take any kind of input peri input parameter. Now see here. If you look at here, you will go to file, you go to import assistance and you go to idea. Now see, it's everything right in front of you. You can upload an XML file, you can upload a text file, you can upload the file which you're getting from SAP, you can upload the file which is uh, PDF here. Here you can use uh, OCR using OCR you can uh, convert your uh, numbers in PDF on uh, Excel that is a very very good technique unfortunately again majority of the firms are not using that I'm yet to understand why but that is a very very good technique and I think we should use that and to, not but not the least you can have Microsoft Excel Access, Lotus, Database and AS400 but nonetheless here files I, I already imported so what I did, I already imported several Excel files as you can see that. Uh, so here I selected a file which is called uh, employees file. I wanted to do Benford. Now before doing the Benford, let me clarify again a simple fact that the one beautiful aspect of the using tool vis-a-vis -vis Excel is that you can do number of things at the same time which you cannot do in Benford. 
it is very difficult for you to do in 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 Excel because it it involves a lot of permutations and combinations and if you do it if you do this then it would be not very easy, right? So what we do we we do using software. We go to analysis. We go to Benford law. Now see here. But before clicking the Benford law, let me tell you something. Kindly see here. Those who think that idea is only a uh, sampling software, they may be theoretically very correct, but I always tend to disagree with the fact that because of the reason that data analytics or any form of analytics, like in the earlier video we talked about that there are four kinds of analytics, which is financial analytics, risk-based analytics, cash flow analytics, and data analytics. So any four form of analytics cannot be used without statistics. Statistics is must in that. And we clearly need to understand that statistics is something which is ever evolving, ever evolving. Like there are a lot of models which were not there when we were studying. Now there are a lot of models which are right right away. So it is ever evolving. So all those who tend to believe that you know uh, uh, you know Benford sorry uh, idea is all about uh, sampling software they may might not be correct. I think statistics play a very important part in that regards. And we need to, we clearly need to understand that uh, if we know statistics, then we can make a lot of sense in our analytics work. Nonetheless, the purpose was to tell you that. And more like if you go to the data section here, in idea, you understand sort, indices, search, extractions, and you know, a lot of stuff, chart data, data manipulation. If you go to sampling, you go to stratification, stratified random sample, a lot of, a lot of other stuff. But here what we are doing, we are using analysis, Benford. Now on which field we are doing? We, there is only one numeric field in that which is salary. So we are doing on the salary. Now here I am doing on the positive numbers. Now this is a sheet wherein more than 150 data tables are there and in which we have what we are created like you can see on the video, we have a branch, we have country, we have first name, we have name, we have salary. We have currency, address and city and we wanted to calculate the Benford on that. The purpose is very simple. There is a, there is a doubt that a particular employee is getting a salary which he or she should not deserve or our salary is getting paid and all. So we are applying Benford. What we did, we go one by one. We first do Benford on first digit. I will say simple, nothing to show. We will go okay. Now see here, this is how the result will come, how much time it will take, not more than a second. So first column he will show you the digits, then he will show you that this is expected from them, this is the low bound and this is the high bound. So the first digit is, is low bound is this, high bound is this, actual is 38, you know, and the difference is 7.46. How you got 7.46? 45.46 minus 38 which is 7.46. Now you can very well see that in this third and fourth is the number where there are there is a wide variance which is coming because in the third there is a negative variance of 10.13 and in fourth there is a negative variance of 4.37. So rather than wasting my time on complete 150, I will spend my time on third and fourth item. I am not suggesting that you should not do any activity on the other item but at the same time I am suggesting that you should have more cautious. Uh, about these two numbers which the software is suggesting but at the same time using our own jurisdiction is always always essential now we are going to do something different what we are going to do we are going to do analysis we are going to do Benford here we do little change we will go first two digits perfect we will say okay here again see not more than not more than a second you can see that the same result is coming third and fourth is facing an issue now we go here again, analysis, Benford. We'll go first digit, first two digit, first three digit. We'll go, okay, here is an answer. It'll take one minute, here we go. There is nothing we have there. There's nothing we have there. So we have first digit, we have first two digits. This is how Benford would work. And you can upload any data in that. You can upload the data of the vendor. You can upload the data of your salary. You can upload the data of your vendor master. You can upload any data in Benford. But at the same time, you should not forget that once you are uploading the data, make sure that 
make sure that data would have some sanity. Sanity in the sense like it should not be completely unstructured in nature. Because if the data itself is unstructured in nature, then even though the tool is there, he may not be able to help you. Now with this, how, how you are able to help with an unstructured data? You are going to use other two analytical softwares that will help you to remove the unstructured or outliers from the data, which is SPSS and Minitab. This is here we go. We go here, we will click SPSS. You can see that the SPSS 17, here we click. It will come to you in a while. Here we go, you can see that. SPSS 17 is on the way. It will take a minute and a while. Here we go, you have SPSS 17 in right in front of you. You just simply escape them, escape them. Okay, you will say, I don't run the tutorial. You will say, okay, doesn't matter. Now, one beautiful aspect of SPSS is that there is no input which you need to do. Now, and the best part is that this analysis session, which you can see the descriptive statistics, tables, correlations and everything. This is very beautiful. You can, like we all understand that analytics is of three types. One is descriptive, predictive and prescriptive. If we really wanted to have a good command on descriptive and predictive, then I think the some combinations of idea, SPSS and Minitab is very good. If you know all these softwares, you will make a lot of sense because using these softwares, you can do anything. Yes, prescriptive analytics is something wherein you need a high-end software like uh, probably Hadoop or maybe some other big data. That is uh, something very difficult to understand and also this is beyond our jurisdiction to explain Hadoop here. But nonetheless, the idea is was to, was to tell you that descriptive and predictive analytics can be done using using such softwares. Now how it works? It's very simple that suppose you wanted to calculate the correlation between two numbers. I will put just fake numbers, say 100. See how easy to fill 101, 102, 103, uh, no equal is required, 104, 105. Now I'll put up here 106, 106. 7, 108, 109, 110, 111. Suppose you want to calculate the correlation between these two. Now you need to select that. You go to analysis and you just need to see where is correlation. Here is correlation. Uh, here is correlation. You will calculate by bivari bivariate correlation. Uh, say 2 and 3 because 1 is 0. Calculate Pearson correlation. You want to do two tail? You can do two tail and you can do okay. Here we go. Are you very well know that? Fat two number one. Here is the result of the correlation. And you can do any number of the mean, mode, median, like I tell you again. You will go to analysis and there is a descriptive statistics. Everything is there. Everything is there. Descriptive statistics. Now suppose you wanted to calculate the ratio. A ratio is between two. Suppose the denominator is var one and the denominator is var two. Now you will say, okay, here we go. It's not valid cases it's that way. And okay, let's not cancel this. And the third tool in in analytics, which we really wanted to talk to you very soon, and we are coming up with that, which is Minitab. You see here, this is how many tab would work. It will come here in a while. Uh, just give us a while, mini tab would come. This is what mini tab is all about. Now you can see that there is not a very big difference between SPSS and mini tab, but mini tab is more uh, used for lean uh, for six sigma, for lean six sigma. Example, lean waste. You have a lean waste or you are working in a company like Toyota, Maruti, General Motors, you know, where there is a probability of a wastage. So you are going to more use the lean waste. You are going to that. But one thing which is very important that if you know the combination of Benford, SPSS and uh, Minitab, then it works because you are the master. You can do descriptive statistics. 
you can do predictive uh, analytics but one thing which you cannot do is one thing which you cannot do is prescriptive because that involves Hadoop so that was the purpose of the video purpose of the video is to let you know that Strategy Consulting LLP is launching a dedicated uh, FDA course FDA stands for uh, Forensics Data Analytics course in this course the purpose is very simple the purpose is to launch all the softwares and the purpose is to is to give insight to the people that using these softwares we can make our uh, analytics very easy or we can make our analytics very better I hope this video serves you and you can very well see the bar like you have an editor you have a graph you have a statistics in mini tab you can see regressions and all, all kind of tests are here the purpose is very simple and over the period by end of September uh, you understand that Treasury Consulting LLP would launch a software uh, would launch a course which, which would help you in understanding the analytics at a very fast pace thank you very much and it was very nice time and you know our contact details which is strategy consulting llp at the rate gmail.com and our alternate email id is rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com you are welcome to contact us uh, on my handle as well which is rahulmagan8 at the uh, sorry 9899242978 my skype id is rahul5327 i would like to uh, before winding up the video would like to stress the fact that your YouTube channel is all scheduled to cross more than 150 videos. So end of next week, we would have more than 150 videos. And thank you very much. And this site, Treasure Consulting LLP. Thank you.